So we're going to take it further from here. We saw number one solution as positive communication. Number two solution, by the mercy of God. Praise God. Sound sexual lifestyle in the marriage. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1 to verse 5. This is an aspect many people don't like talking about in church. The Bible says, Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, underline the word or circle the word own wife, and let every woman have her own husband, under, or circle the word, the, 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 the word own. He said, let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. That word benevolence simply means kindness. So sex is actually an expression of kindness in marriage. That is why anytime you're done having sex with your wife or your husband, there is nothing wrong in telling the person thank you. Don't think that it's a right. Can I talk? And I said, we'll go pretend, finish. Now go out there, go begin. Praise God. Let's say what sex does to a couple. And then we'll talk about how to manage and build into that phase. Number one, sex creates bonding between the husband and the wife. That's what the Bible says. If a man sleeps with a woman that is not his wife, that the spirit become one. When you sleep with a, the Bible used the word prostitute. The spirit of the prostitute enters the man. So there are many men carrying many spirits. And there are many women carrying multiple spirits. In case you don't know, sex commands bonding. Whether with your wife or another, another woman or with your husband or another man. It commands bonding. This bonding becomes good when it is done within the confinement of marriage. The second advantage of sex within marriage is emotional support and emotional strength. There is this confidence you have that no, my wife is behind me. My wife is standing by me. No, my husband is behind me. My husband is standing by me. The third advantage of sex within marriage is spiritual unity. So the spiritual direction of the couple is now in one direction, not divided. The fourth advantage is mental alignment. The man and the woman begin to think alike. Now, what are the causes of lack of sex in marriages? Number one is tiredness. Either on the part of the woman or the part of the man. And this is where to a large extent it's good sometimes uh, that sex are planned for or prepared for. That is the way you play the, the, the sex language before the sex itself happens. It can begin from text message from the office. It is said that if you want to have something to do with your wife, prepare her mind four hours to the time. Number two, do everything you can to build your energy level. Women, when you starve your husband of food, you deny yourself of sex. To watch your husband carry out the act with you in empty stomach is to send him to an early grave. That's why they say the way to a man's heart is his stomach. It's beyond just preparing dinner. You want to get your husband's full attention when it's come to do with that bedroom matter. Then learn to build his energy level by feeding him well. When you stab a, a man's stomach, you stab his emotional drive. The third thing that triggers sound sexual life is clean and sound atmosphere. Keep the house clean. There is something about neatness when a man sees that triggers something within him. You take care of the house, the physical building. Then you now take care of your own house as a woman. Very, very important. To grow forest on your armpit is not a plus. Then, Oga, monitor your own as well. You know, there are men with body odor. Then boxer has not been washed. You wear boxer last week, the same boxer last three weeks, the same boxer the same week. And then husband learn how to be neat and how to be fit. Be neat and be fit. So we say number one in bringing solution to crisis in marriage and relationship. Positive communication. Number two, in marriage only, not relationship. Marriage now. Sound sexual life. Number three, create 
an atmosphere of joy and happiness despite conflict the bible speaking and say it's a merry heart do it good as medicine there are people that watch your body language before they speak to you there are body languages that are accept or that are receptive and there are those that are repelling so it is in marriage and in homes there is a facial expression you can keep that will turn your husband away from you when a woman is always frowning it does not get attention what frowning does is to provoke the heart of the person that you are thinking you're going to get attention from you don't get a man's attention by frowning particularly when it becomes a habit all right you may be moody you may look depressed and it gets concerned honey are you okay yes i'm not just too happy discuss the matter it dies there put up a smile but if every now and then you are frowning hello baby how you doing fine and you're on your own no? a merry heart do it good as medicine every man wants to come home to meet an excited exciting environment and atmosphere then there are men who get angry and say they won't eat their wife's food god bless those men that i'm not a woman honey your food is ready i'm not hungry day one gone day two honey your food is ready i'm not hungry eh okay it's all well why are you not eating my food i don't know discuss conflicts he said a sad countenance is like a broken spirit what does that mean it cannot secure anything you can't be serious in the office and serious at home and serious everywhere no let there be a clean atmosphere show interest in your spouse's life show interest in her life in case you don't understand there are four dangers frowning causes in a relationship or in a marriage number one it saps and drains energy number two it causes irritability which creates distancing between the husband and the wife number three it causes physical stress having the wrong expression the wrong face always complaining looking bitter looking downcasted it causes physical stress number four it can make somebody vulnerable to temptation and trials if you are the troublesome kind of man, the bullying kind of man, the oppressive kind of man, it's possible that your wife is still your wife, physically speaking. But unfortunately, emotionally, she's already sold out to somebody else. She will be with you at home, wear the same wedding ring, but somebody else has won over her heart. That's why you must create a joyful atmosphere. If you're in a relationship and you're the one creating the joy, it helps you more than your spouse. A broken spirit is like a broken wall. It can't secure anything.